Hello and welcome back to the Cannabis Sommelier. I'm your host, Andrew Friedman. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Cannabis Reviews. Today we have something really cool because it's the first legal live rosin I've had on the channel. In the past, I've had a couple uh, iterations of live rosin that have been made through ACMPR and different friends that we could explore that world. But this is the first time I've truly had a completely legal live rosin from the Recreational Marketing Canada. So this kind of dawns a new day. Very, very exciting. And I'm happy to say it's from uh, some great people and uh, good friends. What is it? We've got big live rosin. It's a big drop today. Now, El Hasho, great dude, great man, uh, has been featured in the wine pairing channels in previous, uh, was the hash maker behind this awesome drop. Uh, this was done with John Fowler, AgriConsult on Instagram, all these guys you can see they're very active uh, which is exciting and they're really trying to change the game in the recreational market. It's pretty cool to see friends like this across the country really trying to change the game just like we want to see. That's how it can be done is by the right people doing the right things. I'd like to send a huge thank you to a follower, uh, Yagna in Ontario. Shout out to you, man. Uh, I appreciate you sending this for me. It means a lot. Before we go any further, tax all in, this product costs 70 bucks. So an absolutely killer price for a gram of live rosin, regardless of where in the world you buy it, uh, quality, um, that's a killer price. So. We have big live rosin. What is live rosin? Simply, live rosin is you take fresh frozen cannabis, so harvest your cannabis, freeze it, you then turn it into bubble hash using the ice and water to agitate those trichome heads off. You get your hash, you then put that hash into a micron screen bag, a silk screen bag, and you press it under heat and pressure. That heat and pressure method of excreting essential oils out of cannabis or cannabis uh, sieved extract is called rosin. So now we have a live bubble hash under heat and pressure that's excreting its essential oils. So now we have live rosin. A quick breakdown, I've written some other articles online and you can find a lot of good information on live rosin, live resin, and all those things if you need to learn a little bit more about it. But let's go back to the cannabis. We've got a critical lemon from Big. And uh, I'll be honest, I didn't look up anything about Critical Lemon, um, but maybe we'll put a little bit underneath, or maybe we won't, but we can imagine uh, kind of what it's gonna be. I could imagine this is gonna be a little bit reminiscent of Lemon Skunk, maybe. So let's check out some other things on the package. Uh, total THC, 666.4 milligrams per gram. Uh, so quite a lot. CBD, there's a little bit, 7.2 milligrams. Uh, this is live rosin. Keep it out of reach of kids. Um, when was it packaged? That's a big one. November 20th, 2020, November 26th. Uh, perfect, today is January the 9th. And this was the first drop they did. And it's equivalent to four grams of cannabis, so that's totally fair. You can see all their contact information, everything there. Uh, but they're also super active on Instagram, so go check them out. El Hasho, John Fowler, AgriConsult. They're happy to answer any questions uh, you may have that I can't elaborate to. And this cannabis specifically came from, I believe it's called This Cannabis Farm, uh, which is a good greenhouse grow in Ontario. And it looks like a lot of great female growers there as well. So shout out to them, because we all know, without good cannabis, you sure as hell can't make any live rosin and bubble hash. Uh, you can't polish a turd is the reality. So shout out to the growers without you. Nobody could do this extract world. So uh, let's crack it open. I guess that's the, the next step and then we're gonna dab it, uh, but we need to weigh it. So you can see that it's a thin package and that means that the rosin is in parchment. And I know this is one of the things that the internet and has said no to and will probably change in their subsequent drops. I don't know, because I haven't asked them. You can see our duty seal, sealed and signed from Ontario. I'm in Alberta. I tried really hard to get this to you guys. And let's open it up on here. Crack that duty seal. There it is. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. And then is it the pinch and pull from the inside? You'd think I had done 
enough of these by now that I could just do it. I just usually slide it sideways. Easy. And then we have inside our gram coined out. And you can see a little terp leakage, uh, you know, and that's a detriment of the parchment. Um, I would can only assume that this will go to jars next time uh, because this is not um, really industry standard. And then as we dig further into it, it's not folded like we're used to. They're put into a little bag. So uh, that's I guess that's the big knock right off the bat is that I now have to rip this little bag apart. And again, uh, hopefully this will all change for the better. I can only imagine it would because this is uh, yeah, pretty, pretty not great of a system. Don't know who chose that, but uh, yeah, you messed that one up. I got like a nice little turp pocket there. You can see my turps, but let's weigh it out. Uh, let's put it in a jar and let's find out what is going on. Yeah, this is, I don't know whose call the bag thing was, but not a good call. Hold on, I'm gonna be gentle with it. I don't wanna drop it either. Okay, okay, let's get the one coin and then we'll get the terps in and I'll just get it on the scale quickly. First impression, a little cheesy, a little funky, not as, uh, not as like piercingly loud as I had kind of expected. But that is okay. And it's outdoors, so the color is just a little darker as well. But it still looks beautiful. And their whole motto is to embrace the cold. I'm just gonna try and get everything off of this parchment quick. Just give me two seconds. Maybe we could rejig my camera a little bit. There we go. I will make sure to not miss any. I grabbed this tool because I knew that it was in parchment and this tool will do the job perfect. There we go. I need to go move quick so my scale doesn't turn off. I would say that's the majority. And we can see that, uh, you know, I don't know if it's the turp leak or what, but unfortunately it is a little short. Um, so that is, uh, yeah, I wish it had hit that 0.95. We'll try and get it here. Uh, my scale might not be calibrated. I know other lab scales have more calibration than mine. 0.95 with the with a total scrape. So. Um, that's the best I could get off it for sure. Let me try because I don't want to. I don't want to give a bad impression. That's not fair. There you go. Okay, so there's our answer on the weight. It's 0.95. Uh, I could imagine that 0.5 of terps got lost in there, so that's fine. Let's give it the old sniffity sniff. That's uh, that's super important, right? So on the nose, it has some cheese characteristics, some funk. Not as much lemon as I had actually imagined it might have. Let's just uh, crush it up a little bit here and get it to pop out a little bit. Yeah, cheese, lemon. It's kind of Dell on the nose. I could imagine that uh, most of the good stuff is actually right here. And it is, it's a quite floral there actually. Uh, much fresher, much floral, some uh, lemon notes. But we gotta judge what we can smoke. Yeah, cheese leads, Parmesan cheese rind, skunk. I guess like lemon pith, not lemon peel, not lemon rind, but like the, I guess the pulp from the lemon. Yeah, quite simple, nothing explosive, uh, but outdoor, 70 bucks. Not a bad color. Uh, now it's now it's our favorite time. We got to dab it. That's what's super important. So um, we got to taste it. I have a nice niche rig here. I have 
a Joel Halen banger. There is one, I think it's a six millimeter ruby in here. I have a card cap from Dig Glassworks and I'm gonna heat it up and have a dab. And what I'd like to do is I'm gonna have my dab at 530 degrees. So we're gonna take a little bit of warm up here. Twenty seconds is how much you want to torch your banger usually to get that nice even heat all the way around. Make sure you're moving it, and you know, make sure you use the tip of your flame uh, best you can. Don't squish it in like that. Tip of the flame is where the heat is and what gets the best. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe that should be sufficient. And I got my cool uh, turp timer from Octave. Uh, it's fantastic. Best thing I've ever got for my arsenal. Uh, this rig itself was actually one of the first rigs I ever bought um, to consume dabs through, to consume concentrates through uh, 2012 at the opening of the Next Level Underground. It's done by Nish Glass, uh, colors purple rain. Absolutely love the Encalmo stacks and the wig wags. Uh, so this is super cool. This is a thermometer so I can check exactly how hot my banger is. Right now we're at 625, so I'd like to take it at 530. So I'll get my dab ready here. We'll get a nice juicy dab ready. That looks like a good one. Let's have a big one. Nice big dab, there we go. And we'll check our temperature. There we go, 5.30 it says. Cheers to legal live rosin. Terpsy there. <coughs> Excuse me. But the extract vapor was quite thin. I don't know how to explain it. Um, probably a sativa leading hybrid because it wasn't like very thick. Even though I did cough because the terps were there, it didn't give me that expansion, that like heart shaking, chest rattling. The flavors are quite simple. Again, I think they're very reminiscent of uh, of the nose, so a pretty de decently balanced palate. But lemon definitely doesn't lead for me. Uh, a slight bit of skunk, a slight bit of cheese. I do taste some freshness and some herbaceousness underneath on the palate that comes through. That does represent like, I guess, fresh cannabis. But if that came through a little bit more. It might be off-putting to some, but it does feel like very fresh dirt or the aroma of fresh dirt. You can see the melt it was nice. There's no contaminant. This was all, I believe, the 73 to 120 and washed really, really well. So no contaminant in the banger. A little fishy, which is interesting. Maybe that's the cheesiness. And let's, uh, we'll do a reheat, because who does a reheat? El Hasho himself told me he never reheats. It's good on the reheat, though. Tastes normal. You're not getting any of that uh, rosiny, like, popcorn taste or anything like that on the reheat. It's good, tasty live rosin. Bit of lemon pez, bit of lemon hard candy, but that's really about it for me. All right, I think uh, I think we're good to break it down. You can see what's left in my banger here. We took that at 530 degrees. You gotta waste it to taste it. That's the motto, guys. Um, so our big live rosin. Well, first, unfortunately, um, you know, I guess appearance plays in with the packaging, 
and I couldn't really see it. You know, if we have an industry standard, I don't know why this was used. I don't know whose decision that was. Uh, I know it won't happen next time. Um, so for the appearance, I think this took a little bit away from it, but once I get it in the jar, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a slightly darker shade. It's, you know, but it's nice looking rosin. It's got no particulate, it's got no contaminant, nothing like that. So we gotta give it uh, 16 points. 16 points seems extremely fair, um, but the packaging will get caught in those last 20 points. So on the nose, the nose knows, we, knows the, we know the nose knows, and the nose is 40 points. So with 40 points to give, the nose actually isn't very loud. It's quite simple in comparison to other things. Um, it's not, ex if I had to give it uh, an intensity of pungency, it's like a medium minus. It's just a bit above light. Again, uh, maybe this ate a lot of the terps and this is doing it a disservice, um, but I'm gonna give it a medium minus intensity of aroma of Parmesan cheese, skunk, uh, and lemon. Some slight floral characteristics. On the palate, it matched the slight and simple intensity of the nose. So it was balanced in that sense. Medium minus intensity uh, of flavor on the palate. There was one different flavor that I recognized there um, in on the palate that was like that fresh earth, uh, fresh herbaceousness, uh, which, which was interesting on the finish. I wish it had led with more lemons, more limes, more of a bit of anything for me. Um, so it's got to be uh, only 28 points, well 30 points, 75% is totally fair. Uh, let's give it 30 points. Then we go, oh sorry that was taste, uh, we already, well man, now I've forgotten what I gave it before I went ahead of myself. Okay, we gave it 16 points for appearance, the nose nose, um, I would like to give it 30 points for the nose. For the palette, I would like to, again, give it uh, 15, uh, that's a 75%, I'd like to give it 15. I think it left a lot to be desired, actually, on the palette. I wish I had more flavors or more of a finish or more of anything. So maybe I might go 14 on the palette. And then for overall impression, based on my experience of cannabis, well, this is the best live rosin for the best damn price you're gonna get in the recreational market. Um, hands down, there isn't anything better than this. Uh, package wasn't great, so it, I think that balance gives it uh, 75%, 15 points. So we'll add it all up here, uh, 16, 30, 15, 15. Uh, can't do that math in my head quick enough, but it sounds like about 75%. Some room to go, but a seriously killer first offering at a seriously killer price point for $70 all in. Um, this is this is awesome and I've been way more disappointed before. I'm not disappointed. I'm stoked that I can buy a gram of live rosin for 70 bucks and I look forward to the next drops. This was killer. This is a little piece of history and I'm glad I got to review it here. Shout out to the guys at Big. Uh, shout out to Yagna for sending this. Uh, shout out to everybody out there trying to make killer ass products for the recreational market. Um, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Till next week. Cheers. What's my name? What's my name? The Cannabis Sommelier. What's my name? What's my name? The Cannabis Sommelier.